uh, uh, thank you again for for joining us in this Besties session. So this would be the third Besties for the month of March 2020. So again, Besties stands for Beltran Sai and Tarog Investment Education Series. And for this webinar, no, um, I, I hope we can share our insights with you uh, about what about what we are experiencing now no, and how we can uh, somehow navigate hopefully safely and um, uh, confidently in this uh, type in this kind of a market no. so of course first and foremost uh, i wish everybody is well no um, stay at home sa mga hindi naman kailangan lumabas sa mga kailangan lumabas uh, ingat ingat no and let's continue to pray for each other especially those who um, have already been infected and for those who are um, exposed no due to their um, duties or their mission or their jobs no so uh, pray lang na pray okay so uh, going back no going back so for today we'll discuss about investing in times of crisis so first and foremost i'd like to share with you uh, what we think about what we uh, where we are now no so nasa na ba tayo sa market ano na bang ano na bang nangyari no since uh, since maybe last year or early this year especially after the uh, covid-19 uh, virus surface no next definitely this um uh, this phase in the market cycle no this phase in the market cycle is um not a good sight to see no uh, downright ugly no pero nevertheless all is not lost and hopefully we should we can we can learn something no we can learn something from this episode in the market and hopefully the next time it happens it will happen it happened before it is happening again now no um, hopefully we for those who have experienced the market before no 97 2007 um hopefully they've learned something from those uh, market cycle that they never forget when this current market cycle was early unfolding no uh, but for those who are, are are not fortunate enough yet pa no na hindi pa nakakita ng ganitong classing market hopefully we can learn something from this market and never forget okay no para sa susunod na um uh, experience natin ulit sila ma al, mas maalam na natin no mas alam na natin yung mga dapat gawin and of course last but not the least we hope to share with you our thoughts no on how we should manage our portfolio in these times of crisis okay so again first and foremost no as of kahapon no the market closed at 4743 Point thirty seven PSEI or index level. No? So, kung isipin nyo, January 2018, uh, not too long ago, no, not too long ago, uh, we hit the all-time high 9,078. No? At 4,743, parang almost half, no, almost half. Um, kasi half ng 9,000 is 4,5, no, ito 4,7, no? Pero nung March 19, nung nag 4,000 siya, 4,030 something, no? Half, no? Half. Or less than half pa nga. Less than half pa nung 9,000, 9,078 na high natin. So, needless to say, medyo masama ang market uh, recently, no? By the numbers, that 4,743 is around 50 plus, 55 percent lower than the 9,078 high, no? If we measure the year-to-date performance from the beginning of 2020, that's 39.31% year-to-date. No? But again, as mentioned, nung nagpunta sa 4,030-something yung PSEI no March 19, we were down almost half, no, 48.32% on March 19. Okay. As a perspective, no, long-term. No? Ngayon, di, di ka na pwede tumingin ng short-term kasi ah, wala, nabasag na lahat ng mga short-terms mo, no? Uh, long term, no zoom out. Kung chart ng tinitinan mo, zoom out no yung chart. No, uh, we have breached the the long term moving average. No, uh, uh, a 50 month moving average. 
they're lower than that now no and at this price at 4743.37 at this level it's 37% from its 50 month MA no so uh, bakit natin mini measure to so una uh, we know that we're we are not in the downtrend already i uh, not in a, in an uptrend already so we know we're bearish no pero ang tanong gaano ka bearish so uh, habang lumalayo ka pababa below that moving average reference so mas bearish ano pero sobrang OA na ba yung bearishness ngayon ah pag tinignan mo yung mga past no pag tinignan mo yung mga past na uh, mga crisis no uh, the maximum na nilayo ng PSEI sa 50 months average na was just 33% no and at this level 4743 37% lower na tayo no so kung ipo-put into perspective natin doon sa mga dating crisis pwede siguro natin sabihin based on these numbers na medyo may pagka sabihin nating uh, extreme more extreme than extreme pa ito no? so siguro tignan natin moving forward kung matatawag natin ito na OA no pero as it is no as it is lagpas na siya do sa maximum na dinrop ng PSEI level vis-a-vis -vis its 15 month moving average. So dati 33% lang, ngayon 37% na. Sa sa 4700. Okay. Valuation wise, mura ba or mahal, no? If we measure the valuation in terms of the price to earnings ratio para masya, para medyo familiar tayong lahat, no? Uh, ang usually tinitingnan natin dito is dalawa, no? Yung trading 12 months or forward 12 months, no? Sa trading 12 months, uh, meaning the the PSEI level today divided by the earnings for the past 12 months, uh, we are actually buying the every peso of earning at 10 pesos and 46 centavos, no, 10.46 times earnings. So, uh, mura bayan, mababa bayan, mahal bayan. Ang average niya for the past 10 years is around 18 percent. Okay, no, ang average siya for the past 15 years is around 15, 16%. So, kahit anong tingnan mo, mura talaga siya. Okay. On the other hand, kahit forward 12 months PE or price to earnings ratio mo ang tignan, at 4743, the market is already trading at 9.5 times earnings. 9.54 times earnings. Mahal ba yan? Mura ba yan? Kung i-compare mo sa average niya na 15 times, mura yan. No? Murang mura yan. Okay. Pero again, later on, I'll caution you. No, I'll caution you. Price to earnings ratio is price divided by the earnings. No, especially in the case of forward 12 months PE, the E, which is the denominator of the PE, is an estimated number. No, so uh, nagdedepende tayo dun sa mga estimate na mga nag-aaral sa market, no, mga analysts, mga investors, etc. No. Ibig sabihin, no, at nine po, at four seven four three, the current estimate of earnings moving forward, forward twelve months, is equivalent to the market buying it at nine point fifty four pesos a piece. Pero pag bumaba, hambawa nagdowngrade na sila, no, ng mga expectations nila. Um, mga earnings expectations nila moving forward, posibleng tumaas din itong 9.54 ko. Pero later on, I'll put that into perspective. Okay, no? Kasi masyadong malayo ito. No? 15 times average, 9.54 times lang siya ngayon. Kung ishock ba natin yung E, bagsak natin ng 10, 20, 30, 40%, umaabot ba ba sa 15 o lumalagpas na ba ng 15? Well, in that case, tingnan natin later. Okay. Again, no, again, the market has been going lower. No, the market has um has dropped thirty nine percent year to date, fifty five percent from from top to bottom so far. No, and it has actually um retraced. No, parang ibinalik na niya, no? binalik na niya almost two thirds. Yeah, actually more than two thirds na. No, especially at the low recent low, more than two thirds na ng inakyat niya since the global financial crisis no so from go, uh, from the global financial crisis bottom 1684 makatay 9078 at the low of 4039 nagpasa tayo sa 61% 61.8% fibonacci no so medyo malalim na talaga no and if you are looking at the the run from the 
heels of the Asian financial crisis 1997 na tumagal hanggang 2001, no? Binalik na natin actually um uh thereabouts din ng no? mga 61.8% Fibonacci level. So medyo malaki-laki na yung binabalik natin no? or the retrace natin doon sa inakyat natin before. Okay. Putting that into perspective, Okay, no? So, i-compare natin yung nangyayari ngayon tsaka yung nangyayari dati. Okay. Before, noong 1997, we were hit by the Asian financial crisis. Okay, no? Gano'n ba katagal yun? Ah, to answer that question, from top to bottom, the downtrend lasted for weekly chart ito 319 weeks or mga around more or less mga 6 years. No, mga 6 years. Ah, sorry. Uh, 200, sorry. 246 weeks. So, mga around 5 years pala. Sorry. Two, uh, mga around 5 years. Uh, okay. From top to bottom, from 3,447 high, nung week of February 3, 1997, to 978.19 low, no October 22, or week of October 22, 2001. Tagal, no? Bumagsak yung market ng 71.63%. Okay, 71.63%. After hitting bottom at uh, on October on the week of October 22, 2001, no? The market consolidated, meaning moved sideways. Mahaba din, 73 weeks din or almost uh, one and a half year. Okay, na mahaba din, no? Anong message dito? So unang-una, Pag bumabagsak ka market, talaga malaki. Na ito 71.63%, no. Sa case ng Asian financial crisis, it took it almost 5 years before it bottomed. Okay, no. It took it took the market almost 5 years from top to bottom. Okay, no. So tayo ilan pa lang? January 2018, so 2018, 2019, we're working on the uh, 2 years and around siguro mga 2 months, no. 2-3 months. No? 2 years and 2 months. Okay, no? So, medyo bata-bata ba tayo? Kung i-compare sa Asian financial crisis, that's the first message. Okay, no? Second, no, second, notice that when it hit bottom, it did not fly agad-agad. Okay, no? What happened was a sideways movement and in technical analysis, we call it a consolidation. No? And in this particular case, the consolidation took a form of what we call a double bottom. You know, binalikan niya yung bottom niya. No? Binalikan niya yung bottom niya before it went higher. May papakita ulit sa inyo. Okay. Gano katagal yung bottom na yun? No? Gano katagal yung consolidation na yun? No? From the hit nung low nung week nung to October 22, 2001 to hitting the next bottom, it was actually 73 weeks or one and a half years. No? So yung mga nagmamadaling bumili, no, yung mga nagmamadaling bumili, uh, I, I think this is a good message for us no, na hindi naman agad-agad ang recovery. No? So, ano lang, uh, relax lang. Uh, relax lang. No? But of course, if you have your own method that can capture, sabihin natin yung mga, yung mga market actions faster, then okay lang. No? Pero for the most of us, no, for the most of us who, who somehow uh, impliedly no, or implicitly reliant on the trend of the market, no, know that be after a downtrend, hindi uptrend la, la, uh, agad ng kasunod. No? Usually, the market takes a pause in the form of a sideways movement and again, we call that consolidation. No? In the case of Asian financial crisis, the consolidation took it 73 weeks or almost one and a half years. Matagal-tagal. Okay. Then we go to the global financial crisis no 2007 no kung nung Asian financial crisis the market dropped 71.63% for almost 5 years eto medyo muted 56.77% lang from the high at 3896 nung week of October 20, 20, 2007 October 8 2007 to its low at 1684.75 nung week of October 27, 2008. Okay, no? So, marang isang taon lang na 55 weeks. No? For those 55 weeks from top to bottom, the market dropped 56.77%. Mas maliit sa Asian financial crisis, pero 
malaki pa din, no? Kalahati pa rin yung binagsak niya, no? Uh, from top to bottom. Okay, no? And again, hopefully this this chart um, can give you some idea, no? After it reached its bottom no October 27, 2008, hindi naman siya lumipad agad, no? Hindi naman siya lumipad agad. It took it 19 more weeks to do a sideways movement. Again, we call it a consolidation, no? Do a sideways movement bago siya nag-break and trended higher. Okay, no? So, hindi agad-agad na bumap na umakyat ang market kapag bagsak, hindi rin agad-agad na bumabagsak ang market kapag akyat, no? Usually, not always. Usually, it takes a pause. And again, that is consolidation. And in our context now, we are in a downtrend. We have been seeing super deep volatility, no? So sobrang lalim ng mga galaw na presyo, no? Sobrang lalaki, sobrang lalim ng galaw na presyo, no? Uh, yung mga nagmamadaling bumili, uh, ingat-ingat lang, no? Sa mga hindi naman nagmamadaling bumili, okay lang yan. Okay lang yan dahil may panahon pa. Sabi nga ng mga slides natin kanina at saka ito, may panahon na magsa-sideways muna ang market bago siya bumawi ulit. Okay. And this is our current situation. So again, from the 9,078.37 high no week of January 29, 2018, tail end yan 2018, January. No? To it's possible, no? possible for low no? at 4,039.15 medyo lumelevel na tayo sa global financial crisis. No? Global financial crisis, 56.77 drop from top to bottom. Yung ngayon, since 9,078 uh, index level no uh, January 2018 hanggang dun sa uh, January 20, uh, sorry, uh, March 19 low na 4,039, 55% down na tayo. I know, 55% down na tayo. Ito na ba yung low? Di pa natin alam kasi wabagsak pa. No? Wabagsak pa. So, wala pa siyang basing na tinatawag natin. No? So, question mark pa yan. No? And we are 112 weeks so far from top to bottom. Okay, no? So, kung mapapansin nyo, yung global financial crisis, almost 5 years, 4.7 years. Ah, sorry, yung Asian financial crisis, almost 5 years, no? 4.7 4, uh, 4 years. Global financial crisis, 2007, medyo maiki lang, isang taon lang, no? Tayo ngayon, uh, more than one year na tayo. Actually, more than two years na nga tayo. No? So, 112 weeks so far. Okay. So, which again makes me somehow, ano ba, somehow entertaining the idea na ano bang klase tong crisis or market action na nakikita natin? Is it more like uh, 1997 or is it more like 2007? Is it more like the Asian financial crisis or is it more like the global financial crisis. So sa ngayon, uh, one no one indicator na pwede natin tingnan is yun nga, yung haba niya no. So ito significantly um, more than na no yung Asian yung global financial crisis. So um mukhang mukhang nagde-develop siya into a 1997 model. Pero sana hindi, masyado matagal 'yon. No? Pero again, hindi wag na wag tayong kumarang sa market no. So uh, let's 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 see you know, how we can navigate this um, type of a market. Okay. Pag tinignan natin yung price performance no year to date no uh, looking at the PSEI, yung natin tingnan yung mga iba pa no beyond PSEI no bakit? Uh, eh kasi kung titingnan mo kung kung iisipin mo pag et, pag ito market na to hindi na dump siya no ng mga investors from all over no. Pero pag itong market na to binalikan uh, most probably, no? most probably ang babalikan nito yung mga maayos, no? yung mga maganda, no. And by definition, no, or at least by the criteria used by the PSE in crafting the PSEI, um, supposedly sila yung mga maganda, no, yung mga maayos na companies, no? So PSEI. And even this maganda maayos na company which again be called blue chips, no. Year to date as of kahapon, March 23, no. Sobrang down. No, sobrang down. No, it can go as low as Bloomberry, 61% down, no, 61.95% down from January, yeah, um, from end December, no, from end December, to mga Globe Telephone or um, PLDT, no, na medyo single digit, 
uh, kasi may medyo nag medyo nag ano sila dun sa dividend place no pero nevertheless down pa din no down pa din sila okay so sobrang lalim na okay kung titingnan natin from this uh, from this screen no sobrang lalim na ng binagsak ng mga ng mga presyo ng mga PSEI stocks no pero malalim na ba yan enough no? malalim na ba yan enough so anong mga pwede natin tingnan marami no marami tayong pwedeng tingnan one of which is yung distance ng current price versus its usual price which again in the market we call it the moving averages no pero maraming moving averages merong uh, merong iba't ibang klase or merong iba't ibang haba no so in this case ang mga usual na ginagamit natin for sabihin natin for a long term medyo 200 day moving average for sabihin natin medyo medium term 50 day no medyo short term around mga 20 days Kaya na gano'n, no? So, kung makikita nyo sa slide na to, uh, um, lahat sila pula. Ano ibig sabihin? Lahat sila nasa baba ng moving averages nila across time frames. I mean, across uh, moving averages. Length of moving average. So, 200, 50, and 20. Kahapon, nag-higher nag than 20-day moving averages ang globe. Kasi if you have noticed yung price action ng globe kahapon, medyo umakyat siya. Okay, no? Pero save from yesterday's price action, Mas mababa rin si Globe than its 20-day moving average. So ngayon medyo tumawid siya. No? It's been moving uh, quite 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 well no actually for for the past days. No? Okay. Pero nevertheless, the general message is mala, mabab, ma, nasa ilalim ng moving averages ang mga presyo. Ibig sabihin, sobrang bearish talaga. No? Pero sa sobrang lalim na, na nila from their moving averages, baka naman sobrang lalim na. No? Baka naman OA na yung distance no yung distance ng price from its moving averages so from this screen din natin makikita pero from this screen ah makikita natin no so for example in this case we focus on the 200 day moving average okay as of kahapon for example for BPI the price was 5140 per share the 200 day moving average as of kahapon was 86.6. So comparing those 5140 and 86.6, we know na mas mababa sa moving average na yung BPI and malalim. Gano kalalim? 41%. Okay. From 86.6, 41% lower ang presyo ni BPI na 51.4. Okay, malalim, no? Malalim. Yan na ba yung pinakamalalim? Baka may mas malalim pa dyan. No, baka may mas malalim pa dyan na historically pinuntahan ng presyo ng BPI. Okay, no? So we look at the biggest historical discount of the price of each of these stocks historically no? versus the 200-day moving average. Okay. Anong time period? From 2005 hanggang kahapon, okay, no? from 2005, hanggang January 23 uh, March 23 2020 ay no for those na may available data pag medyo bata-bata pa bawa yung mga pure gold yung mga RRHI no may medyo, medyo bas, um, bago sila eh no hindi sila umabot pa na, wala pa sila na 2005 so hanggang kung saan meron no hanggang saan meron so parang pinaka lifetime na nila okay the biggest historical discount versus 200 AMA ni BPI was yung kahapon 41%. So never did never have we seen BPI going as low as 41% below its 200 day. Ah, okay, no. And the same interpretation sa GTCAP, URC, AEV, etc. Yung mga 0 0 0 sa last column. Ah, okay, no. Yung MPI, okay? The biggest historical discount versus 200 day MA was 47%. Yung data, yung price versus 200 day MA niya kahapon at this price and this MA was just 46. Okay, no? Bakit? Kasi may konti siyang galaw, no? So, how do we interpret it? Yung yung ano, yung last call. Pag zero siya, sabihin siya na yung pinaka-bottom. No, sabihin siya na yung pinaka-dulo. Pwede pa ba lumalim? O pwede pa naman. No? Pero ang sinasabi natin, historically, siya na yung pinakamalalim. Wala nang mas malalim pang uh, pinuntahan yung presyo versus that MA, which in this case is 200 day. Okay. Pero yung mga, uh, yung mga, for example, yung mga may 5% pa, 6% pa, it's either on its way 
pababa pa sila, historically, meron pang mas malalim na pinatahan yung market or recently, medyo nag-bounce na siya. Okay, no? Pero nevertheless, the message of the last column and this slide in general is the lower the number, by lower meaning in, ab in absolute terms, no? Kung, kung ano, um, from zero ne to negative, no? Uh, absolute, walang sign, no? The lower the number means the more possible it is that you are at the bottom. Possible lang, possible lang, no? At the bottom or near the bottom. Okay, no? Uh, there. Okay. Uh, unlike yung halimbawa yung JGS no so let's let's take uh, the, let's take the extreme example JGS at last price kahapon at 45 and 200 day MA kahapon at 71.25 the price was just 37% lower than its 200 day moving average pero historically bumag uh, uh, historically JGS's price went as low as 79% deep compared to its 200-day uh, moving average. So, kung sakaling darating ulit ang panahon o ang pagkakataon na yung market would what punish maybe no or sabihin natin dump JGS at super deep level 79% 200-day MA, you stand to lose 66% pa from this already depressed price of 45 pesos. Ay, no, ganun siya. No? So, anong ibig sabihin? Ah, in this case, ang titignan natin yung nasa upper part. No? Upper part ng last column. Yan kasi yung mga nasa lowest na or malapit pa sa lowest na tinravel ng presyo below the 200-day MA. Okay, so that's the first. Kung 200-day is too long for you, then maybe you can shift to 50-day. Pero same message. No? Same message. No? So, yung mga tinitingnan natin, yung last column, ang range ko dito is from 0 to 10 na naka-highlight. Okay, no? So, you can use this as a guide para malaman nyo na, oh, bagsak siya. Oh, below MA siya. Pero malalim na bend below MA. Ah, ito yung sinasabi natin. Historically, ganito kalalim ang pinakamalalim. Pero sa ngayon, ganito siya kalalim. Malayo ba ako sa pinakamalalim? Last column ang sagot. Okay, no? So, Kung, mala, kung mahaba pa rin sa yung 50 day, then you go 20 day. But same message. Okay? okay. As far as valuation is concerned, <clears throat> excuse me, as far as valuation is concerned, if you look at the consensus valuation of analysts sa mga PSEI stocks, walang mahal. Lahat below their fair value. Okay, no? So, if you go to your pro, you go to stats, and then analytics, and then consensus, no? Uh, i-load mo lang yung PSEI no sa mga sa mga uh, pre predefined watch list mo no? then you sort the potential PNL then you can see no kung sino yung mga pinakamura from the pinakamahal although in this case nga wala naman mahal no uh, meron lang less mura no so kung pinakamura dito is Meg dahil dahil um 225% ang upside niya from current price from 189 no uh, ang pinaka medyo hindi masyadong mura is Globe kasi ang upside niya from 1850 <coughs> price yesterday was just 13%. Okay. Mura in terms of current in terms of current estimate now this slide shows PSEI stocks that are trading lower than the current estimate of analysts. But in this slide, you'll see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine stocks in the PSEI that are actually trading below the lowest price to book valuation for the past 15 years. Now, I know, so from that 2005 to end of 2019. No, kinuha ko yung lowest na price to book ratio ng uh, ng mga uh, stocks sa PSEI. And then I compared the current price to book ratio as of uh, March 23 doon sa lowest na yon. And itong mga to uh, are 
tra- are currently trading at the at below the lowest. So below the lowest, just imagine, no? below the lowest price to book valuation. Okay, there. Okay, so there, no? So as you can see, the market has been taking a beating, no? We are lower 55% to the bottom, 39% year to date. So, um, so far, it's it has been two years and three months compared to global financial crisis. Medyo matagal na tayo at medyo naman match na natin yung from top to bottom niya. Pero from Asian financial crisis, medyo bata pa tayo in yung downtrend natin. <clears throat> and medyo may ibababa pa compared sa binaba ng market noong, noong 1997 Asian financial crisis. Ay no, so medyo ma, 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 no, ma malungkot, malungkot na kwento, no. But again, sulitin natin ito. No? Sulitin natin itong moment na to, no, yung yung na-experience natin today, no. As um uh, instead of just uh, sabihin natin um, malungkot among others, no, let's let's try to learn, no, learn from our experiences today. Ay, no? So hopefully the next time we encounter this, and we will encounter this, no, not the virus, hopefully not the virus, no, but uh, the market cycle, no, yung bakyat, baba, kit, baba, and now ngayon, baba, no, baba, baba ulit to, no, next time after pagtaas, no, it will happen again. Happened before, will ha- happening now, will happen again. No, but hopefully for at that time, uh, we come more prepared, more better prepared. Okay. So first and foremost, ano ba yung mga pwede nating um, matutunan dito? No. So unang unas sa uh, hopefully, hopefully nakinig tayo sa mga um, sa mga uh, advices sa atin, No, that the markets really move in cycles. Okay. No, ang market hindi laging paakyat hindi laging palipad no minsan bumaba or bumabagsak okay no markets move in cycles okay next hopefully by now if you have haphazardly entered the market no medyo clueless ka pa pero gusto mong kumita uh, for some reason no uh, pero hindi mo alam ang dapat gawin pero you did it anyway no uh, I'm pretty sure medyo natututo ka na ngayon. No? So the lesson from that is never trade or invest in the stock market unprepared. I know. And last but not the least, very, very important, always have the proper mindset. Okay. Okay. So una, markets move in cycles. Cycles ng ano? Cycles ng valuation. No, anong ibig sabihin? May mga panahon na mahal ang market. I remember I I I, uh, I got interviewed nung around January yon, in January 2018, no. Sabi ko medyo masaya, no, masaya, may bago tayong president, maganda earnings projections, etc. But at this level and at that time, you're trading around 23 times earnings na, no. 23 times PE na medyo hindi na ako komportable no at least man lang dapat mag-pause ito hindi naman bumagsak pero dapat mag-pause ito no so siguro correction ng konti no kasi sa akin medyo mahal na yon in terms of valuation okay no after that bumagsak no? after that bumagsak and now no now again as mentioned kanina forward 12 months pe is around 9.54 times at 47 level no historically 15 was a bottom, no? Or minsan, parang average. Hindi man bottom, pero average, meaning uh, usually doon nag, nag, naglalaro, no? Doon naglalaro. Iba nga minsan doon pa nagbo-bottom, no? So, basta tumawid na siya ng 15 or lower, <laughs> medyo pwede na natin sabihin na medyo may pagkamura na yan. Okay, no? So, may mga panahon na mataas ang valuation. May mga panahon na mababa ang valuation, no? What causes this cycle in valuation? Marami, no? Maraming bagay, no? Um, mostly on the since this is fundamental 
nature. No? This, uh, this metric is fundamental in nature, mostly because of the perception for what could happen in the future in the economy, in the markets, or in the companies. Uh, you know? So parang, yung, kasi yung PE kasi is parang willingness to buy the E, eh. willingness to pay, that's the P, to buy the earnings, which is the E. No? So pag mababa ito, kahit sabihin mo umaakit yung E mo, no? uh, which happened last year, no? <clears throat> earnings actually outperformed, but the PE was actually lower than expected. No? So parang, at ganun, matumataas yung earnings, pero yung expected PE vis-a-vis that earnings mababa. Ibig sabihin, medyo nag-deteriorate na talaga yung, yung willingness no, ng investors sa uh, pag sa sa market no or sa earnings sa corporates no okay that's the first no markets move in cycles in terms of valuation and of course definitely markets move in cycles in terms of price action no so again akyat baba pero in this case not valuation but more on the price action itself okay no hopefully when we held our um uh, traders playbook event last January or la- February no February 2019 no hopefully um nakapag share kami ng valuable insights from that no so again always remember the markets moving cycles may mga panahon na umakyat may mga panahon na mababa no and there are methods that we can use to spot them I know we are, there are methods that we can use to spot them, and that's what we did. No, we no, not some playbook that in 2019. Okay, no, so we identified. Oh, well, siempre probabilistic. No, we have identified where we are in the cycle, and we we determined that at that point we were trading at around 8,100, 8,200 level. No, that there really could be more pain ahead. No, so pabagsak pa. No. Uh, at that time, we were looking for a base case at, at around 6,000. So, 2,000 index points from 8,000, medyo malalim, no? Pero, sab- yun ang sinasabi ng method, no? But later on, I'll share with you the importance of that, no? Yun ang sinasabi ng method. Uh, if the relationships hold, no? Based on this method, base case is around 6,000, no? Pero as we know now, may mga marami pang nangyari pang iba, no? That na bumasag sa base case no na bumasag sa base case which again brought it to our base to our bear case which is around 4700 okay no bumagsak pa nga siya no at its intraday low bumagsak pa siya to 4039 no pero ngayon medyo nag-hold yung mga 4647 level 454647 level okay probabilistic meaning you estimate you Keep tabs on those level, pero wag mo harangan na market. I know. Let it do its thing and wait for the turn. I know. Ito mga method na to para tingnan lang natin muna kung saan yung directions. First, in this case, for their downside, yung mga levels were guides. No, were guides. Kung saan pwede ng bumagsak at magbounce ang market. Pag hindi siya nagbounce, di hindi. I know, di hindi. Meaning, hindi siya support. No, for whatever reason. I know. So, then, okay. In terms of valuation, no, in terms of valuation, the current valuation price to earnings forward 12 months at the current estimate of E of earnings is around 950. No, kung titingnan niyo tong historical uh, PE band na to, no, thank you for uh, for this chart, no, sa Insti Sales and First Metro, no. Kung makikita nyo, for the for the good part of the of the past what 15 years the market stayed at 15 to 25 level ng PE no for a good part no may mga times na lumalagpas pero bumabalik ulit no kaya yung mga iba yung mga value investors talaga medyo may hype may conviction na sila ngayon which is okay lang no okay lang kung yun yung method mo okay lang no but again remember no remember that at this level Yes, we are trading at 9.54 times earnings. Pero that's based on the current estimate which stands at around 497.14. Okay, no? That number, 497.14, if I'm not mistaken, might not be reflective already of what can happen to uh, earnings 
if we consider the virus. Okay, no? So, kasi medyo matagal na itong ano to, eh, no? estimate na to, no? So, kung mat- medyo matagal na siya, hindi pa in-adjust lower, at maraming nangyayari, most probably, it should be adjusted lower, no? Eh, hindi pa in-adjust. So, nadyan pa tayo. So, 964. but di pa nag-a-adjust? Kasi wala pang numbers for first quarter. No? So, yung mga iba, most probably, mag-a-adjust yan kapag nadyan na yung numbers for first quarter. Pero, syempre, as investors, we somehow um, think ahead no we somehow think ahead na uh, ano ang pwede natin gawin to somehow manage our expectation okay so ang ginawa natin was to shock it no shock it ano ibig sabihin we introduced somehow um, a scenario na kung downgrade ng 10% yung 497.40 na APS ilan na lang APS okay. then compared to the March 23 close ilan na lang ang PE okay so ganun no okay Again, remember the benchmark was for for uh, for the forward 12 months average is 15. Okay, no? Go above 15, hindi ka na uh, hindi ka na parang medyo pupunta ka na sa pamahal. Hindi pa mahal pero pupamahal, no? Go below 15, pupunta ka na sa pamura. Although hindi pa pinakamura. Okay, no? When we shot the EPS of the PSEI, no? EPS of the PSCI, 10%, the equivalent PE is around 10.6. Compared to 15, mura pa rin. Okay. E kung 20% ang binagsak ng, ng earnings, mahal na ba? Ah, kung 20% ang EPS downgrade, equivalent PE is 11.93 or say 12. Ang benchmark mo is 15. That's mura pa din. Okay. 30%. If you have an NPE is 13.6, benchmark is 15, medyo mura pa din. Siyempre, hindi na murang-mura, pero medyo mura pa din. Okay. Paano pag sobrang sinama talaga, 40% downgrade? Ah, yun medyo tumatawid na or nagtitrade na along the uh, average of 15.9, no? around 16 times earnings. Okay, no? So, bakit ko pinasent to? Word of caution lang. Okay. Antayin natin, no? kasi baka magbago yung projected earnings no pero nevertheless hanggang 20 or 30% hindi tayo mahal ay kasi hanggang 20 or 30% lower than the average 15 times forward pe pa rin tayo no pero hindi pinakamura okay so ganun. next never trade or invest unprepared okay. sabi nga ni Mr. Warren Buffett, no, dami niyang quotes, no, ito lang ang kinuha ko. Only when the tide goes out do you discover who's been swimming naked, no? Ah, uh, mga iba masaya, um, uh, lumilipad yung market, etc., no? Um, recklessly, no, some of some some people recklessly even invested what they should not have invested in the market, no? Uh, dahil lang umakyat, no? Pero nung bumabagsak na, medyo ipet. No, medyo ipet na no? kasi medyo sabihin natin hindi masyado na pag-isipan or sabihin natin kulang pa no? sa trading or experience maybe no but nevertheless no nevertheless um uh, it should uh, teach us a lesson no so never trade or invest unprepared no so ano kailangan natin ah kailangan natin ng method kailangan natin ng method okay no so to save us time in this webinar no i hope i can just direct you to the past webinar no nung ginawa second episode my my second episode for besties no February 26 2019 okay no so ano mga panahon na yun, uh, we were talking about um uh, medyo mga bata to no 2019 no uh dealing with heartbreaks no paano daw paano ba natin ma ma deal yung heartbreaks ah by having a method okay no so uh you choose well no by choosing well meaning you should have an established, preferably back-tested stock selection process. No, pag binili mo yung isang stock, dapat may reason ka. Yung reason mo dapat galing sa proseso. No, para solid. No, para solid yung uh, pagpili mo. No, so based saan? Based sa method na sa tingin mo is tama. No, so yung iba fundamental analysis and valuation, yung iba technical analysis. So fundamental analysis and valuation looks at the companies compute com- compute compute ng valuation no and then yung mga technical analysis naman uh, they look at the charts uh, measurements tools etc no so you choose well no 
next, you have to risk only what you can. No, yung uh, remember, remember, no. So hindi ano hindi lahat sino so hindi lahat sini invest, no. Especially pang nagsosogal ka, hindi hindi masyado alam, no. Pag alam mo na, then maybe you can uh, uh, risk more, no. Kasi risk only what you can, and what you can is relative, no. And last but not the least, get out when you can. Okay, no. So sa risk only what you can. Uh, tinuro natin dyan yung um, mga position sizing and some risk management metrics, no? Yung get out when you can, tinuro natin dyan yung parang discipline, no? Okay. And you can view this webinar, past webinar ng besties sa bit.ly forward slash fmsec dash method. Okay, no? So I encourage you to <coughs> to uh, to spend some time in that webinar. Okay. Last but not the least, very very important lalo na sa ngayon no ang daming ang daming ano ang daming ano ba advices or sabihin natin ang daming ang daming gumugulo sa isip natin no uh, pero don't lose sight on the target always have the proper mindset okay no so uh, for this naman i hope i can refer you again to my very first no my very first um besties webinar no I, I I deemed it very very important no as a trader myself no medyo matagal-tagal ko na rin ginagawa to ah uh, dami kong alam pero sumasablay pa rin minsan bakit kasi matigas ulo ko no ah uh, through the years nababawasan na tigas ng ulo pero meron pa rin no pero pero uh, the good thing is nababawasan na no and and more, ngayon medyo uh, mas ano na mas uh, medyo mas controlled mo na yon medyo mas controlled mo na yung emotions mo and yung mindset mo no kaya sa tingin ko ito talaga yung pinaka pinaka mahalaga no that's why it was the first best episode for me no developing the trader's mindset okay no so uh, kailangan mo ng proper mindset and for us since we are trading and investing in the market you develop the trader's mindset no and you can view that past webinar from bit.ly forward slash FMSEC dash mindset. Okay. Sabi natin doon, in the uh, in the markets, traders should be pragmatic, have a system, and last but not the least, control your emotion. Okay. So, ganun. Okay. Last. Okay, last, last, last. How should we manage our portfolio in times of crisis? Katulad ngayon. I know. So, paano bang dapat natin gawin? Uh, okay. Make no mistake, every crisis, or almost every crisis, creates opportunities. Definitely. Sa so, tingin ko. No? Especially in the financial market. No? Yan. Talagang maraming opportunity no? for, for the financial market. Uh, uh, for, for earning. No, kapag medyo, lalo na po ngayon, long only market tayo, bumabagsak yung presyo. Talaga opportunity yan para sa atin to somehow dip our hands on the stocks. no Pero, again, going back to our past lessons, kailangan may method ka. No? Kailangan alam mo kung paano gawin. Okay. If, all, uh, if all else fails, and in case of doubt, you can never go wrong, by hitting the break. I you know. In case of doubt, you can never go wrong by hitting the break. No? First lesson sa driving lesson ko, yan. Pag basta kung ano mang mayyari, tapakan mo yung preno. No? Hit the hit the break. No? Uh, kung may tatawid, tapakan mo yung preno. Alanganin ka, tapakan mo yung preno. Ano yun, ano? Hit the break. Okay, no? So, ano yan? All, all encompassing yan. In case of doubt, hit the brakes. You don't know you sell. Okay, no? You don't know, you sell. Okay. You're not confident, you sell. Okay. Bakit? Kasi pag may position ka, may risk ka kasi. Pag wala kang position, ang risk mo lang, ah, sorry, pag may position ka, may risk ka, ang risk mo ay malugi. Pag wala kang position, may risk ka pa din, pero ang risk mo doon as hindi lang kumita. Okay, no? So pili ka, no? pili ka. And I hope the market has reminded us now that the risk of losing is far greater than the risk of not earning. Ay, no. So, ganun. Pero syempre, wag mo naman paliparin mo na agad yung presyo na sobra, sobra, sobra na bago ka naman sumakay. No? Pero again, mamaya natin pag-usapan yun, in case of doubt, hit the brakes. 
Okay, no? Dito importante yung tool ng conditional order or yung stop loss or yung, uh, automated stop loss. No? So, and you know, for, especially for those who have been using First Metrosec Pro already, sobrang useful niya. Okay, no? Yung mga wala pong First Metrosec Pro, I, I highly advise no? that you avail of this service. No? So, ano naman ito, uh, again, uh, hindi naman masyadong restrictive no kasi yung iba natataasan sa minimum sa minimum um, amount no pero if you come to think of it yung sa, sa trade sa trade criteria naman hindi masyadong mahirap eh no hindi masyadong mahirap uh, ma, ma ano ma, ma achieve no especially it's it's record for for one month no so uh, sa tingin ko workable naman siya no so sikapin natin no na magkaroon tayo nito para magkaroon tayo na access sa ganitong classing feature no which is again very very useful no bakit uh, kasi minsan may mga nagsasabi sa atin no oh magbebenta ka wag ka magbenta or you might be selling near the market bottom parang ganoon no uh, parang parang pinagpapahinayan ka para um, um, uh, the person makes could make you feel na o oh, baka pag nagbenta ka uh, baka bigot na mga ganoon no? so, parang nanghihinayan ka so, hindi mo hindi ka nag ano hindi ka nag uh, hindi ka magbebeta no but this chart shows it all no so um every uh, every break of support is a chance to sell out no every break of support is a chance to sell out and whoever whenever however yung nagsabi sa inyo no na pag nagbenta ka dito you might be selling at near, near market bottom when you sell here you might be selling near, near market bottom show them this chart and hopefully they learn from it no uh, in a down market, in a bear market, in a downtrend market, medyo mahirap malaman kung nasan yung end. No? Ang problema, pag may position ka sa downtrend market, loss yun. Ay, no? Loss yun. Especially if, if your mind is not hardened enough to withstand it. Your mind and your wallet are not hardened enough to withstand it. Ay, no? So, in case of doubt, hit the brake. Okay? Okay. Ayan. Natatakot ako magbenta kasi baka nga umikot na. Okay. Again, from this slide, alam natin that does not hold water. Okay, no? Pero syempre, pag sobrang lalim na, okay, no? parang ganun lang din sa uptrend. Eh. Sa uptrend, ay, akit muna. O sige, antayin ko muna. Pag sobrang mataas at saka sasakay, malamang mababagsak na. Ganun din, ganun din dito, no? Downtrend, ay, antayin ko muna. Sobrang lalim na ng binagsak, malamang may chance ng umakyat. Pero hindi pa natin makikita kung umakyat hanggang mangyari na. Okay, no? Pero syempre, palayo ng palayo sa taas, yung palalim ng palalim from the top na binagsakan niya, most, nag-i-improve yung probability na baka umikot na. No? Pero that remains as a probability. Okay, no? So yung mga iba, parang natatakot sila kasi baka ma-miss nila yung bottom. No? Baka ma-miss nila yung bottom. Forget about the bottom. Forget about the bottom. You will miss the bottom. And the good thing is, it's okay. It's okay. We're not here to catch the highest, uh, the lowest low. And we're not here to sell at the highest high. We're here to earn money. Ay, no? gas gas na gas gas na yun sa mga trading community no pero it's true no we're not here to buy at the very bottom we're not here to sell at the very high we're here to capture much of the upside no hindi lahat much lang ay no so again from the charts natin kanina as mentioned nung global financial crisis After it hit the bottom, dalawang taon pa yata, no? dalawang taon pa siya bago um, uh, umalis sa, da sa downtrend niya. No? Dalawang, almost two years pa siyang nag-sideways movement. Okay. Tapos no, ipad. Okay, no? Nung global financial crisis, eh, sorry, Asian financial crisis pa lang kanina. Yung global financial crisis, um, one, two, three, no, 19 weeks pa. Parang, you know, parang almost one year din. No, thereabouts, no, thereabouts. Basta yung sideways movements followed the downtrend first before it went higher. Okay. May mga may miss ka talaga. May mga may miss ka. Kung sa global financial crisis, 22% actually na mismo. 
no? Uh, dagdag mo pa yung 5% breakout threshold mo sa so mga 27%. May mamimiss ka talaga. Pero at the very least, at that point, alam mo na na hindi pa bagsa ka market. No? Huwag mo lang antay ng sobrang tagal na hindi ka nakasakay pa akyat. Okay? Ganun. So you will miss the bottom, definitely. No? And that's okay. Ay, no? At this point, what we have to do is first and foremost, make up your mind. Okay, no? So kung wala ka pang method hanggang ngayon, hopefully, the message is loud and clear. You have to have one. I know you have to have a method. I know so pili ka. Um, uh, ang choices is uh, fundamental, technicals, and marami pang iba. No? Pero ang core is fundamental and technicals. No, para alin ang para sa yon? It depends on uh, on yourself. No, kung ano yung uh, sabi nating uh, uh, maluwag sa yon or sabi nating uh, approve or patok sa yon. Sabi ko nga no or minsan kung ano yung kumikita para sa iyo. No, no. 'Yon. So 'yun yung aralin mo, no? And then do your trading or investing activity based on that method. Ay, no. So make up your mind. Ano ka ba ano ano ba ano ka ba talaga? Anong meron ka at kung paano mo gagawin yung mga dapat mong gawin. Ay, no. Next, at this point na, at this point na raise cash. Ay, no, raise cash. Bakit? Kasi sobrang lalim na natin, katulad ng mga pinakita nga natin kanina, no? So, medyo sobrang malalim tayo. Malamang nandyan na yung mga opportunity lurking, no? Maybe not yet for a general uptrend, but at the very least, a significant rally, no? Parang ang temporary um, move higher, no? Which can which we can profit from din naman, no? Raise cash. Kaya yung mga ibang ginagawa, uh, uh, yung iba na, ang utang, no pero wag wag masyado yung utang no although if you can if you can use utang responsibly then know that uh, brokers like first metals like have a margin facility pwede kang mangutang sa kanila no pambili mo ng stock kung sakaling nakikita mo na talaga na medyo strong yung upside mo okay no yung iba nagbebenta ng mga non core ibig sabihin ng bawa nakaposisyon ka pa sa mga non PSEI ay mga late late eh, may belief ka na kapag ito tumakbo ulit pa akyat, pa mukhang mauunang umakyat yung mga blue chips. So, ang tawag rotation. No? So, uh, selling your non-core, non-PSEI, uh, raise cash, and then wait for opportunities to buy the PSEI. Okay, parang ganun. No? Some of, those are some of the methods. Okay. And last but not the least, and very, very, very important, get ready. Ay, no? So, make up your mind. Anong meron ka? Asan ka ngayon? Anong method mo? Wala kang method. Mag-aral ka na. No? Mag-pera ka na. Han paghandaan mo na. Paghandaan mo ng alin. Paghandaan mo na yung mga opportunities that will come your way. Paano ko makikita yung opportunities? Again, depende ngayon sa method mo. Ay, no? Depende sa method mo. Okay. So, based on those, no? Based on those uh, factors, no? Na pwede nating uh, gawin, no? Ano kaya yung mga pwede mong tignan no para makapagbigay naman tayo ng idea no what stock sh should we be looking at okay again by the numbers bagsak ang market the whole PSEI is bagsak bagsak siya and mura siya ayun no? sobrang bagsak na niya lagpas na sa pinakamalalim na tinravel from long term moving averages sobrang mura na niya sobrang lalim na from the average price to earnings ratio at 9.54%, it is actually uh, within the level reach ng mga previous crisis at the lowest. So, nandun na tayo. No? Ano na tayo? Pero nandun na ba tayo sa pinakamalalim? Hindi natin pasigurado. Kasi nga, hindi pa siya nagbo-bottom. No? Nag uh, wala pang sideways, wala pang consolidation, etc. Okay, no? Pero, no? pero sa ngayon, alam natin, mas malayo tayo sa taas kaya sa haba. Parang ganun, no? And if we, may, we play probabilities and we focus our funds, on the PSEI, okay, no? on the PSEI, of course, we know that we cannot invest in PSEI, but we can invest in, uh, in we can invest in securities or stocks that tracks the PSEI, now, which again, in our case, is the ETF or FMETF or the PSEI trackers, now, yung mga mutual funds and PSEI trackers. You buy FMETF, you invest F in FMETF by buying shares in FMETF, no? So para siyang stock, no? So mabibili mo yan sa 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 website, no? Sa broker's website. So, so type FMETF then buy, no? So normal transaction applies, no? 
if you want to invest in PSEI through the PSEI tracking mutual funds, know that you can also do this in First MetroSec. And that's through FundSmart na tinatawag na. So, tignan nyo lang doon yung nakalagay, index fund, no? or special, specifically PSE index fund. Then that's the index tracker. If you believe that we're somehow super bought, super layo na sa MA, super layo na sa average na, na PE, at medyo may chance na na sabihin natin baka ito na, put some, not yet all. Okay? Put some in those type of instrument. By some, uh, yung iba, hinahati sa lima, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20%. Yung iba, hinahati sa sampo para medyo mas madami. Yung iba, mas aggressive. Pero again, depende na yun sa iyo. Ayun, no? Backtesting some methods, if you are to buy the PSEI through the trackers, maybe you can use this uh, this guide as a as, as, uh, uh, signal not to buy. No? So, uh, this is a 27-week simple moving average guide no so every time the market crosses above the 27 week moving average simple moving average it trended higher and it acted as support pag bumagsak naman below it it trended lower and it acted as resistance and so on and so forth no? so you can see it from the chart and you can check it yourselves too no kaya lang dito we're comparing the price and the moving average kaya medyo maraming false signals no kasi syempre mas mabilis um, mas mabilis uh, mag-interact yung pressure than moving average. No? So, to somehow tame yung, uh, yung mga false signals na yon, you can instead use a moving average as against another moving average. So, in this case, a short-term moving average at 10 week tapos exponential pa, so mas mabilis na moving average and uh, still this 27-week moving average. So, crossover pa din, pero hindi na price and MA. MA and MA na long, short-term na mas mabilis pa Tsaka long term uh, moving average. No? 10 week move, exponential moving average and 27 week simple moving average crossover. Okay. Going back to sa mga slides natin kanina, bagsak, no? bagsak na yung market, no? yung mga PSEI. No? Pero masyado na malalim yan. Ah, uh, makikita natin na malalim, pero ito lang yung mga sobrang lalim, no? yung, yung mga farthest no? from the moving average. So in this case, from the 200-day moving average, itong mga naka-highlight, BPI, GTCAP, URC, ABSM Prime, MPI, among others, no? sila yung mga sobrang lalim na nila for 200-day. By sobra, meaning relative to history. No? Relative to history. Um, same dito, but using 50-day moving average. Same dito, but using 20-day moving average. No? So you can just replay it, siguro, and maybe pause no? sa, mga, sa mga slides na ito. Okay. All blue chips are fair, below fair value as mentioned, pero ito mga crisis level na. Ayun o, so uh, siguro kung may watch list ka, pwede mo i-value watch list ito mga to. Again, the only consideration here is the price to book value. If there are other valuation methods that you think are more appropriate, then use that. Okay? So there, no? So again, if our, uh, to, to end this webinar, no? Medyo mahaba-haba, no? To end this webinar, um, hopefully the messages are clear. No? So again, first and foremost, we know that the markets today are down, have been down, sobrang laki ng binagsak, and it makes the stock market, especially the PSEI, very cheap. I know, yes, markets are down and cheap, no? but that does not equate to the market being a good buy already. I know, so again, depends on method. I know, pero sobrang lalim na niya, sobrang mura na niya. Ay, so Always bear in mind, nangyayari dati, nangyayari ngayon, baka mangyayari ulit in the future, or pag nangyayari ulit in the future, nangyayari pala in the future, mangyayari yan in the future, pag nangyayari in the future, always bear in mind. No? First and foremost, markets move in cycles. So, hindi laging paakyat. As much as hindi laging pababa. Okay? No? So, pag paakyat, manage your risk. Pag pababa, manage your risk. Then, I know. Next is always come prepared. You have to have the right method. Okay. And last but not the least, very, very important, always have the proper mindset. Okay. Last point, crisis creates opportunities. Definitely. I you know, medyo, medyo, medyo bitter, bitter pill, but definitely it presents some opportunity, especially for those with the right perspective. What you do with it is important, right? Pero mas importante how you do it, right? 
What you do with it is important. Either mag-buy ka or mag-sell ka. Pero ang pinaka-importante is kung paano mo actually gagawin yan. Okay. So there. Uh, thank you very much for taking your time in uh, watching or listening to this uh, webinar. You know? And I hope uh, you have learned something useful. And please, please, please uh, keep safe. Okay? So maraming salamat. God bless you. Thank you.